Mason, big day for you. It's been a long time, uh, I guess, since you've uh, assumed the responsibilities of the Eclipse program. And in that time, you have remade a program and more important, remade a customer group from being a disaffected series of orphans to a proud community that's looking to go places day by day by day. And now you're looking to add to the flock. Hey, isn't that a cool way to say it, Jim? It's sort of like an Eclipse family, and uh, we are. I mean, you know, our franchise is built up of two parts, our customer base with their aircraft and our company, and we want to show value and delivery on both sides, so we're just extremely excited about today. What's the activity like now that you're taking orders? Are you getting an inkling of just how hot a property this is going to be? The big play here is what's it going to cost to build a plane? And once we've determined that, and we have, we have 85% of our suppliers under contract or agreement, so we know what it's going to cost to build the aircraft. We then add to it uh, what we think is proper for us to uh, margin and our cost onto it, and we say, do we have a competitive product? And everybody was wondering, can we keep it under $3 million? And uh, we did, you know, $2.695 million. It's a great price tag. Matter of fact, it's the only twin engine or single engine jet in the world priced below $3 million, and it's just... It's phenomenal that we can really do well with this aircraft at that price point. Now you mentioned that there are some upgrades coming for the airplane. I heard synthetic vision and auto throttles, holy smokes. But this is a whole new designation. It's now the 550. What will the 550 entail? So the Eclipse 550 is built on the same excellent airframe as the 500. So it's in that same certification class. So it is certified. Same engines, the 610 Pratt engines, right? We're working on a couple of different types of enhancements. We might see a little bit of improvement in speed. We're already 375 knots, but we see some speed mods that might be able to happen to stoke it up a few knots. We're going to see synthetic vision, enhanced vision, uh, all new screens to support those along with the microprocessors behind them. We've got uh, in-flight entertainment systems, satellite telephones. We're pretty much just redoing all that new infrastructure inside the plane to take the latest and greatest on the plane. But you said the magic words, auto throttles. We're bringing auto throttles to the light jet and small jet market. And I think it's just a great addition for single pilot awareness and management in flying a jet aircraft. What is the production ramp up look like from here and when do we start seeing eclipses coming off the line? I think, uh, you know, demand tells us when we're actually going to roll them off the line, but 2013 we're going to see deliveries. We could deliver a plane in early, uh, as early as January 1st, 2013 if there was that huge of a demand. I'm thinking, you know, middle part of 13, somewhere in there, uh, you'll start seeing them roll off the line. It's already certified. So now it's just a question of uh, checking the boxes and, uh, and uh, adding some certification to some of the new functionality of the aircraft. You know, we're adding some new uh, feature sets. Would this have been possible without Sikorsky? And what does Sikorsky mean to the future of the Eclipse? No, it would not have been possible without Sikorsky. I think we would have been a service organization. That's my straight up answer. You know, I, I came back with three things to do with this company. Service and support and parts going again, that was step one. We did that, 100% of the parts are available and we can support the fleet long term. Second thing was to upgrade that plane and complete it, get the other 15% of the plane on it, and we're doing that now with our upgrades and our total Eclipse refurbishment program. Restart production was the next step. We needed a business partner that really understood, had deep supply chain management experience and depth and contacts, and also deep production experience. And there's no better marriage than Sikorsky and Eclipse whatsoever. And Jeff and his entire team are phenomenal, phenomenal. You know, I have to tell you, Jim, in the minutes we've been talking, my contracts guy's walked by three times showing me signed contracts, smiling, so as he walks back and forth talking to people. So this is a good day for us. We're having a good time. Aero TV is brought to you by... Avidyne is the brand of choice for pilots who want innovative, easy-to-use avionics. And the new IFD 540 GPS Navcom sets a new standard for simplicity in communication and LPV navigation. As a slide-in replacement for existing 530 series navigators, and with a highly intuitive touchscreen control, the IFD 540 makes it much easier to access the information you want when you want it, reducing head downtime and making flying more enjoyable. Finally, you have a choice, and the choice is easy. Avidyne.